Hey everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and I have such an exciting new interactive read aloud for you. Today's interactive read aloud is The Smart Cookie! And does this cover an illustration and this character seem kind of familiar to you? It might, my friends, because take a look behind me and you'll see some of my other booty friends. Do you remember these friends back here? Ah, I've also done interactive read-alouds of all these books, my friends. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and click on those links down below. I've linked them all. But say hello to our friend, the bad seed, the cool bean, the couch potato, and the good egg. Ah, oh, such fun friends. Well, they are getting a new friend today, and it is the smart cookie. Ah, oh, and I am so excited, my friends, because I love cookies. Double thumbs up if you love cookies, too. Mmm, and if you don't like cookies, that's okay. You're gonna see all sorts of little sweet treats in this book that I'm sure that you will love. So I have to ask, cause it's about a cookie. My friends, what is your favorite cookie? It is so hard to choose a favorite cookie, isn't it? Well, my favorite is chocolate chip cookies cause I love the chocolate and like the salty chewiness of the cookie, sweetness too. And well, you know, my friends, I like all sorts of cookies though too. Like this kind with the frosting and the sprinkles is really good also. Do you like this kind of cookie? <laughs> I eat this cookie. I'm not gonna eat this cookie because this cookie's so cute, but if I had a cookie like it, right? <laughs> all right, this book is all about different ways to be smart. There's not just one way to be a smart cookie. There's, there's lots of ways to be smart, my friends. And we're gonna read this story and find out what does that mean, all right? Well. Let's give me a double thumbs up if you're ready to begin. Excellent. Let's get started. Well, the title of today's interactive read aloud is The Smart Cookie, written by Jory John and illustrated by Pete Oswald. So Jory John wrote all the words. He's the author and the illustrator. Pete Oswald does what? What's the illustrator's job? To draw all the pictures and they're such fun, delicious pictures. I love sweets, my friends. I can't wait to share the pictures. Well, if you don't like cookies or maybe you do love cookies, but overall, what's your favorite dessert? Yeah, it's a tie for me between cookies and ice cream. Mm. All right. Well, I see what's going on here on the cover. What do you notice? There's cookie and she's holding a a little pencil in her hand standing on some books the smart cookie so i'm wondering if this must be like a pretty smart cookie right hmm. and oh what's you notice in the background lots of other treats right what do you see Ooh, so many delicious ones okay well like i said this book is about all the different ways that you can be a smart cookie so let's see what is going on Oh, this is like a fun picture page before the story. Look at, here's our cookie. And look at all these different things. She's thinking about all these different ways you can be smart and talented. What do you see? Sports, art, music, the smart cookie. Here's our title page. That's the title of our book. Author, illustrator, our publisher, Harper Kids. And oh, what do you notice that cookie is in? What does cookie live in? Cookie jar. Look at all the things she's got in her cookie jar. Greetings, I'm a cookie. I live in a bakery on a street corner near a river. Do you see the river? River is that long body of water. Come on in. All right, we're going to go into the bakery. Looks like a nice place to live. Look, the street name is Sweet Street. Here's the bakery. Welcome to our little community, our little group of friends who we all live together. It's a warm and supportive place to spend some time where everyone's helping each other out. <gasps> Pretty fantastic, eh? Hmm? What do you think? Pretty fantastic? So supportive community, how do you see, my friends, that some friends are helping each other out, supporting each other? What do you notice? Right, I see maybe over here they're doing some science together. Like he's helping point to the globe while he paints, helping each other measure. Oh, look, they're giving each other high fives, doing art together. Mm. And I see all sorts of yummy things. What yummy things do you see? Yes, cupcakes, pie, muffins. Um, these days, life is sweet. Life is pretty good. But my journey wasn't always a cakewalk. It wasn't always easy. When I was younger, I couldn't have imagined fitting in here. For a long time, oh, how does she feel? 
For a long time, I didn't feel comfortable speaking up or sharing my ideas. I didn't feel like a smart cookie. Oh, what do you think she felt? She didn't really feel like she was very smart. I wanted to be a cookie who knew all the answers. A cookie who felt confident in a group, like I know the answer and I believe in myself. A cookie who said, aha, when solving a puzzle, like this, aha. My friends, can you try to say that word with me? Three, two, one, aha. Huh. So an aha moment is when, oh, I get it, I know, aha. Have you ever had an aha moment where you figured something out and you realized the answer? Yeah. Those are cool moments to have. Looking back, I had some trouble in my early days. I went to school in a gingerbread house. That's pretty fun. Our teacher, Miss Biscotti, type of cookie, was kind and patient. When I arrived each morning, she'd wave and smile. Does your teacher wave and smile at you when you come in? How does your teacher say hello to you? Yeah. But I didn't get good grades. And I never raised my hand because I couldn't think of the answers as fast as the others. And I was the last to finish most tests. So, have you ever felt this way or has any of these things ever happened to you in school? If they have, how does that make you feel? You might feel a little bit like Smart Cookie, like, I'm just not smart enough to be here. And it wasn't because I didn't care, right? I'm, I'm sure you care about school. And it wasn't because I didn't try, because I'm sure you try at school too. Sometimes I get distracted and mess up. Does that happen to you? Made me get a little distracted or you make a mistake? Even though I knew the material, those those are the most frustrating moments of all. So my friends, has that ever happened to you? Maybe you're taking a test and you know the stuff you've studied and you know the answers, but sometimes you just get distracted and you make a mistake, but you knew it. Feels pretty frustrating. Once I misspelled the word dough and that was rough. Cookie dough, D-O-E. Spelled like this right here, D-O-U-G-H. That's a tricky one. And another time I added when I meant to subtract. Oops, what is two minus two to take away two, my friends? Have you ever made that mistake where you added instead of subtracted? I did that before in school once. Occasionally, we'd have a lesson where I just had absolutely no idea what was happening. <gasps> have you felt like that? I just couldn't keep up. And I imagined that my desk was a raft and that I was completely lost at sea because that's what it felt like. You know, has the teacher ever talked and you just felt like, I have no idea what's going on. What did you do, my friends? Did you, how did you figure it out? Maybe you didn't. At night, I slept in a cookie jar. I had about six dozen roommates. So a dozen is how many? Twelve. So six dozen, that's a lot. That's, does anyone know, my friends, how much six dozen is? It's 36 cookies. Ah, oh, that's a lot in the cookie jar. Move. You move. No, you move. No, you move. No, you move. Looks a little squished in there, right? I'd stay awake and stare out the window and worry. Sigh. Can you give me a little cookie sigh? Sigh. And it went this way day after day after day. But then. Uh, so, but. Always makes me think of, oh wait, something's going to change and happen. But then something happened that changed everything. Oh, here's what I said. What do you think might have happened? It all started with a homework assignment. Miss Biscotti requested our attention one afternoon. Tonight I would like you to create something completely original, she announced. So original means something completely new, your own idea. It can be anything you want. Please bring it to class tomorrow. So does it sound like there's any rules, really, about what they're supposed to do? Not too many rules. So you get to make anything you want and just bring it in for homework. <gasps> Huh. That was it. There were no further instructions. Miss Biscotti winked at me as I gathered my belongings. Hmm, wonder why she winked. Why do you think? I feel like I had a million butterflies in my stomach. <sighs> How do you think she feels? What does that mean if you have a million butterflies? I get a little nervous, like, oh, I don't know what to do. Create anything? Something original? Do tomorrow? Boop. A little nervous to do that, right?
My friends, what would you do if your teacher said, go ahead, go home and make anything you want and bring it to school as your homework? What would you do? Yeah, if you need more time to think about it, go for it because that is a tough question. And if you know, wow, uh, that was a good idea. When I got home, I immediately went to work and if I took a look at the pictures, what are some ideas Cookie tried and doesn't look like it's working out? Well, at first I tried a cooking project. The results were half baked. Didn't work out. Next I tried to hammer a nail on something and it splintered immediately. Crack. And then I tried to make a sculpture, but it was a complete bust. Didn't work at all. I wondered if I was about to fail yet another assignment. I was stuck. I stared out the window and watched the rain hit the river. There was something mesmerizing about the water. It makes you want to keep on staring at it. How it moved in such a chaotic way, back and forth, swirling around and around, yet ultimately figuring out exactly where it needed to go. So here's the water. It's all weird and all over the place. But in the end, it knows where it needs to end up. Just like, oh, do you remember this word? Can you say it with me in three? Aha! Uh -huh. Did Cookie have an aha moment? Oh! Suddenly I had an idea! I decided to write something original! A poem! Aha! Uh -huh, a poem! Oh! I love poetry, my friends! Have you ever written a poem? Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you have. I came up with the title based on how I've been feeling. Yeah, have you ever written poems that how you feel? Sometimes when you're feeling not so great or really great, it's always fun to write it down, huh? After that, the rest of it seemed to fall into place. I wrote and I wrote, sprinkle jar, oh. an hour went by in a flash. Oh. And then, oh, you know this word? Ready? In three, two, one, aha! Oh, I said when I was finished, aha, she's finished! I couldn't sleep that night, but it wasn't because I was worried. Oh, how do you think she feels now? It was because I was excited. I felt like I had really accomplished something. I felt smart. Oh, so Cookie finally feels smart. Was Cookie feeling smart in the beginning? How was Cookie feeling? Like she was really bad at school, right? But now she wrote this amazing poem. She feels really good about herself. The following day, Miss Biscotti asked for volunteers to share what they created. Oh, and look at her friends. What are some things her friends made? Super cool things, right? One kid showed off his original frosting art. Ooh, look at that donut. Another kid revealed her sprinkle distribution machine. Oh, so look at how she gets sprinkles onto her. A cute little cupcake. And it was neat seeing how everyone was good at such different things. This croissant, what is this croissant doing? Some science. So they all have different talents. They're all smart at different things, my friends. Artwork, inventing things, science. Finally, Miss Biscotti turned to me. Would you like to share anything she asked? Well, I gulped. I thought I'd probably crumble under the pressure. Do you think Cookie's going to share the poem? <laughs> but I made my way to the front of the classroom. I noticed my hands were shaking. My mouth went dry. How is Cookie feeling? Nervous. This poem is called My Crumbly Days. I said my voice cracking. And then I read it aloud. Oh, notice these little wiggle lines and these cookie shaking. And as I spoke, I noticed some kids nodding at certain lines like, oh, yeah, I feel that way too. I agree. Other kids laughed at parts that were supposed to be funny. And as I built towards the finale, I felt myself becoming more confident and animated, moving my body as I read. Because look, my friends, how does cookie look different here and here? Yeah, right here, Cookie's all wiggly and shaky. And here, Cookie's like, I got this. I'm excited. I'm going to share. And in the end, everybody clapped and cheered. Woo! Can you clap and cheer? Woo! I promise you this, I'll never, ever forget it. And how does Cookie feel now? Really happy with themselves. Miss Biscotti was beaming. No one but you could have written that poem, she said. It was completely original. Made it on their own. Made it on their own. All theirs. And, oh, ready? Say it with me in three, two, one. Aha! Oh, I had done it. I created something and shared it with the world. Well, 
my world, at least. The rest of the day was a blur, because by recess, I was already planning my next poem. I would call it my sweet morning. Mm. Aha, I thought when I came up with the title. So Cookie likes to write about their feelings a lot, huh? Oh, my friends, I think that after this book, you should definitely go and write a poem about your own feelings. Later that afternoon, Miss Biscotti handed me a note. It said that I should keep on writing no matter what. That meant so much to me. So Miss Biscotti realizes that Cookie's really smart at writing, and Cookie should definitely keep it up. And you know what? School was a bit different after that. <gasps> what do you notice Cookie's doing there? Cookie's raising their hand. Does Cookie usually raise their hand? Not before. I wasn't so scared to raise my hand or ask a question or share my work. Oh, look at the painting. Sure, some things still don't come as easily for me as they do for others. Or, right, not so good at that sport. But now I know that you can be smart in many different ways. And what are some different ways Cookie's smart on? So many different things, making movies, skateboarding, being strong, making music, helping friends. That's a really good thing to be smart at, knowing how to be a helpful friend and person. You don't have to have the answers to every question, my friends, or suddenly be great at everything all at once. No, that's not how it works. You just need a chance to try all kinds of things to find out who you are and what you like to do. So just try different things, my friends. It's okay if you're not the best and you're not going to be the best right away, right? It takes practice, right? Maybe you're not good yet. Remember that yet? But as long as you get the chance and you'll find what you really like and what you're good at. And usually what you're good at is what you like. So, my friends, which one of these are you really smart at? Or maybe there's one not on this page that you want to share. Go ahead. As for me, I learned that I can write and I can think of great ideas. And I found plenty of other things that I'm good at, too. I no longer feel lost at sea. It's more like floating down a river. Like I know where I'm going to go now. And the best part is there's always more to learn. Because we're all smart cookies. Ah, poetry, now you look at all of their friends are supporting, cheering Cookie on. And Cookie finally found what makes her feel smart and things that she's good at. The end. And oh, look at these end papers. All these different pastries. All right, my friends, what a fun story. What a fun foodie read to add to our <gasps> foodie friend collection back here. Smart Cookie's going to join the group. We're over here next to Bad Seat. What did you love about this story, my friends? There are so many fun parts. Right. Smart Cookie is such a sweet character. And I really liked how Smart Cookie helped us realize that, you know, you don't have to be good at everything. You don't always have to know the answers to every question. That doesn't mean you're not smart. People are smart in many different ways, right? And maybe just because you don't know the answer right away doesn't mean you're not good at that, right? Maybe it just takes you longer to think about it. There are so many different ways to be smart, my friends, and I also liked how Cookie used writing to share their feelings, right? Express when they felt bad, they wrote it down in a poem, or when they felt happy, they wrote it down. That's a nice way to express your feelings. So, my friends, I have a very fun craft to go along with this, that if you click on the blog down below, you'll get to check it out, or you'll get to make your own cookie, your own little smart cookie, color it in or print it out, and then you'll get to share what are the many different ways you're smart, maybe share a poem or two about how you are feeling, and practice that skill out that smart cookie try too. All right, my friends, so if you're interested in making your own smart cookie little craft, go ahead and click on the link down below to take you to my blog to find the craft template and to print it out. Otherwise, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this interactive read aloud. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to my service YouTube channel by clicking on that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. All right, well, I loved reading together with you. I can't wait for our next reading adventure. But until then, my friends, happy reading.